Hi everybody, welcome to Kate's Space. Um, I am Kate from Pixie K Designs and today I'm doing some more work in my garden story journal. I was inspired by Brigida from Klebat Creations who made some beautiful tags. I saw them on Instagram and then I watched her video uh, and I thought, oh well, I would like to make some grungy tags for my journal. Well, I need to. Uh, and then she also gave me a great tip you know how I was not that impressed with the seepage of the coffee through the sort of normal print on normal paper? Well, I um, I asked her about it because I saw that she was coffee dyeing after she printed and she said if you print onto the matte photo paper, um, then you can coffee dye. So that's what I've done. You can see that I've been doing a bit of that here. So I'm really thrilled with that. So I want to make a big tag. So I, I printed this out and coffee dyed it. I think this is one of the uh, printables from... Yeah, it goes like that. From, um, sorry, from Angela. And then there's a set of tags that I tried to make a little bit bigger. Because my journal's bigger, a lot of the ephemera is quite small in this kit. And it kind of, um, you know, like for these, if you wanted these as journaling cards, I find that they're a little bit small. So I'm making a big tag here, and I've made this a little bit bigger if I can. And I want to start just putting elements on them and making some layered tags. So... One of the things Brigida used and I love is, and I haven't used it for ages, is sort of grunged up corrugated cardboard. And I love how that looks. So I want to use some of that on this one. The other thing I had a go at doing, and I don't think it was particularly successful, I think I used too much paint, was some of these swatches. And you may have seen these. They were done on the Graphics Fairy website and then... Um, Robin Dudley Howes did some on the tea stained and mine haven't really turned out that fantastic uh, but yeah I might have another play with them but I had this left over from the piece of watercolour paper that I pulled out of the the watercolour pad that I used so I love that, that edge then I grabbed a few pieces from the page that looks like that and I chose this one here so I've coffee dyed it and grunged it up and I've put two little eyelets in it because I want to put this piece of ribbon through so I'm going to do that and tie it how is everybody today I hope you're all well and um, enjoying uh, summer coming your way if that's the case for you today it's very gray i've got my light on because it's quite dull and gray today and a bit cold so yeah good day to be indoor indoors crafting so yeah i just want that sort of messy bow going on there and what else feel like it needs something else underneath it I've got some of the flowers that I dyed and I really like how they have been looking in the journal so I might put those on there and I've got another couple that I just want to stick under a bit of layering there and I had a piece of lace I don't know if I'll be able to find it I found this little safety pin that I've obviously grunged up, rusted and it's gone all tarnished. And also I rusted this little dragonfly charm. So I'm going to stick that on there. But I want to find that little piece of lace I had. Here we go. So I had some tea. So this is actually not tea stain. This is just aged like this. And I thought that might be nice under here. So those are my layers. And then I was just deci deciding whether I was going to do any stitching. I think I'm going to put a backing on this. I did print on the back, but I don't like how orangey that's turned out. So I just need to decide whether I'm going to do any stitching or hand stitching on here. Because once it's all got the stuff on it, it will be too bulky. So that's sort of that one. 
And then I've got this base here, and I think that I'm going to use another one of um, Angela's cards that I've cut out of one of her pages. And then I I fussy cut this one out. I love this blue sunflower, I guess it is. Just um, it's been changed to be a sunflower. And I've got this bit of lace, and I sewed together some more of that grungy tea dyed seam binding and just a piece of rip lace and part of that um, linen that I've been using and I thought I would layer that at the bottom but I think it needs something else so I've got some of the pattern sewing pattern paper ruffle so I think I'm going to put that under there and I had another little scrap of the yeah this tea stained so that just gives it a little bit more texture if I put that there too. So that looks okay, I think. I've got these old numbers. They're from, they were given to me and they're from, um, they're from like an auction. So when you number them and I quite like how that number looks on there. It doesn't mean anything, but I just like how it looks so I've tea dyed that as well so that gives it another element so yeah that's what I think I'm going to do and then I am going to put some backing on them but I can I guess I can back them afterwards I think I'm not very decisive today I think I'll ink or have I inked around this edge doesn't look like it I might just sew around the edges because then I can cover it on the back. So I'll go do that and then I'll come back. Okie dokie. Right, so I've sewn around all the edges of my machine. I'm just squishing down the stitching on the back because the, the needle, when it pierces, it pushes the paper. But that's going to be covered. And I haven't used a contrasting thread because I just didn't feel, I didn't want to change my thread on my machine, but it might have looked nice with this. And this one's a bit messy. I've done some zigzagging and stuff around there. Okay, so let's just start gluing some things down, shall we? Get them done. Okay, so we're going to need some good hefty glue, I think. So I think I want this right up quite close to the edge. I'm just going to glue them down and we'll work it out as we go, won't we? So yeah, these are going to be quite chunky and um, bulky in my journal. I, I don't mind. Like I said, I was going to do lots of ruffles and bulky things in this journal and just have fun. And I saw the envelope, the grungy daffodil envelope, hilltop journals. Oh, I'm so sorry, my, the name has escaped me, but I really like that. And I've been watching that video today and um, printed out some things thinking that I might like quite like to do that make a sort of an envelope booklet thing so this has kind of got this big gap under here I wonder if I need to put something under there but anyway I'm I'm just gonna glue this like that we're going to have quite a big gap there so maybe this needs to come this way a little bit okay so I'm going to put that there and hope it will glue down just using Aileen's tacky glue it's a white glue and I should have it upside down so I don't have to shake it down so much I'm sorry about that David's gone off down 
the line to see his parents and some friends and then on the way back he's gonna go for a bit of a hunt that's his, that's his relaxing sort of time out sort of thing so that's where he's gone Right, and then I'm going to put this lovely flower here. I'm wondering if I want to put something underneath, underneath it, another sort of piece of paper. And it doesn't really matter what it is, just to have something else peeking out. No. All right, so I'm going to glue. So that one's going to go there. So we need to think about where our lace is going. So that's going to help lift that up a bit. I mean, we could put some foam tape under there, I guess. Or um, we could just use a little bit of corrugated cardboard or any kind of sort of thick cardboard to hold it up. Let's have a look. See if we like that. Just to keep it up off the yeah so I think that will be a good idea so I'm going to glue that onto there to give it some support that level with the top of that card there yep I'm liking that so far okay so we can glue the lace down glue this down I think that's the next thing lots of glue Hope it doesn't fall apart so yeah that's gonna go here at the top level with that piece of card there And then I do want this number somewhere, maybe there. Right, so now I need to place my flowers. So I've got my yellow one and my blue one that's sort of crumpled up. And then this, this sort of messy one here. They were sort of underneath as well, just to give it a bit more depth there. Okay, so I'm going to glue this on. My little number. Just commit. <laughs> and then I'm going to glue my flowers down. Hope they look all right. Oh, and these ones need to go underneath, so it's not sort of poking out under here. Okay. 
and then we were gonna just attach this little dragonfly onto the ribbon hmm I feel like it isn't quite right for some reason I'm not sure why but hopefully that will come to me at some point so there we go we've got our little dragonfly there needs maybe something more down here perhaps or it's just too wide maybe I'm not sure anyway that's that one done for now until I think of something else I might want to put on it unless it needs a leaf maybe the leaf I'll leave that there for now and just have a think about it okay so this one where's my bits for this one here so we're going to have a sewing pattern ruffle. Oh, I've got some more sewing pattern ruffle. I wonder whether or some kind of ruffle under here would be good. Yeah, maybe something. Hmm, I may have left that a bit late, but we might be able to shove something under there. We'll see. Don't know. Okay, so this one's going to have the ruffle there and then I think I had some of this old this old stuff under there too so I had a bit of extra fabric and then I had one of these but I don't think it was this one actually yep it was this one and then this was on top and then my bit there, and this bit here. So this one's a bit more crowded. So I might lift that up a little bit. Yeah. And I think I had a button floating around that might go on there too little linen button that I might sew on there yep so that's that one let's get that one done oops that's the wrong side let's go that way We want that actually over the edge of the card. That's how it is at the moment. And then we've got this as well. And then our fussy cut on there. So I'm just going to use, I don't think I want that raised up. I want that, I think I'm just going to have that flat. So I'm just going to use glue stick to glue that down. Onto here. And don't forget this little bit of stuff. We're really piling it on there, aren't we? That's okay. I think that's okay. Lots of layers.
lots of layers. So today's Friday and um, that I'm recording this video and daylight savings finishes for us this weekend. So our mornings have been very dark, so they will lighten up ever so slightly, even though they'll get dark again later, I guess, in the um, season. But our evenings are about to get quite dark. I think that needed to go up a bit, but I might have left that too late. Yep, that glue grabs really nice and quickly. <laughs> That's okay. So that lace... Do I want the lace as well? Or maybe I don't want the lace as well. Maybe I just want that. Yeah, and then I'll see more of the tag. But I might sew this button on. Yeah, so... Kind of not looking forward to it. It's funny, this year, I, normally I'm like, oh, yay, fires and warmth. and But this year I'm sort of a little bit not that excited about winter. But I've managed to get a few things planted in my garden, which is always good in autumn. Um, I've bought a couple of hydrangea bushes and I've planted those. And I'm hoping they will survive. And there were some trees that had self-seeded out the front of our place. They were just growing in the stones out the front. And I thought, oh, th those will make good plants to replace. Because we've cut the hedge, we've trimmed the hedge, but it's still a mess and it needs replacing. So I thought maybe I could just slowly start planting things that I like along that fence line. And then the stuff behind it can be removed <laughs> when the stuff that I've planted grows. Anyway, I don't know. I'm not much of a gardener. It's good talking about the garden when I'm doing a garden journal, though. But yeah, so I've planted those trees. They're called aki akis. They're a native sort of hedging plant, hedge tree thing. Uh, and yeah, so we'll see how they grow. They may just not survive the winter. Who knows? But yeah, I've been watering them and keeping them going. So I'm just going to glue this on. Onto here. I'm not really sure of the placement, but yeah, there. And I want that bit sort of hanging over. Obviously, I want it to look grungy, so I mean, we even might just grab that and just do a little bit of a bunch up. There we go. So there's two tags. Um, I think I will, do I want that leaf? Or maybe some lace. A different bit of lace in here, maybe? No. Not quite sure what I've done wrong there. It's not looking quite perfectly right to me. But anyway, I've got my lace there. I might, I think I need the leaf. What do you guys think? And then I'm going to decide what am I going to put on the back. So let's have a think about that. Um, I don't think that's going to be sort of strong enough. I think I want to put some cardstock on the back. I've got some tea stains and old cardstock. Mm, I've got lots of this old cardstock here that was given to me. And it is, it's been sitting around for a while so it's got some aging and stuff to it so I might actually just glue these on here and then cut around them and that will just give them a nice cream back to to be written on maybe I should have done that first yes you should have <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to use the wet glue it seems to be crumpling everything so maybe I'll do a bit of glue stick so I'll do a lot of well a decent amount of glue stick there and then I'll use the art glitter 
around the edge. That always works well. So yeah, it's going to be a bit lumpy. I think that's okay. Should be able to write on it, hopefully, if someone wanted to. So I might just actually line it up with the bottom here and the side, and then maybe I won't have to do so much trimming. Try and get it as flat as we can. That one's going to be a problem, isn't it? Oh well. You live and learn. There we go. Just let that dry a bit. And when I cut round it, I'm going to have to be very careful that I don't cut my fabric. So yeah, do your backing first, folks. And um, otherwise you end up with that problem. But it should be okay. Right. And then this one is going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? But that's okay. We'll give it a go. That's not going to be big enough either. So let's find something bigger. This is some really old card that's got a lovely natural patina on it, so we'll use this. Is this going to be big enough? Yep. Great. So again, I'll um, actually, what I'll do is I'm going to cut this and then I'll glue the... I'm going to cut this here to size. Oop. then that will be easier and then I need to think of some more ephemera to put in here there's lots of glue because it's a heavy tag and I want this to stick well see how we get on putting this on. Cool, that's good. It's just the middle bit that's going to be a problem. Just have to hope it grabs. Yeah, that was a bit silly. I didn't think that one through very well. Never mind. Been a bit like that these days. So we'll let those sort of dry. It does look grungy and rustic, that's for sure. Now I've squished it all down like that. <laughs> that's okay. That's kind of what it's supposed to look like. And then what about a topper? I 
may want to put an eyelet in this one. I think it suits the the theme, and I, I love how the um, digitals have grunged up nicely. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I have got a few pockets. I've got this. It's not going to fit there. No way. Um, I've got a belly band. It could fit in the belly band, but I think I need. To, I'm going to have to make a big pocket for it. We've, we've, we've got this pocket here, also not big enough. So it's going to need a special pocket. Okay. And this one. Don't want to mess with. Don't want to cut my bits that I've put on there. So we're going to have to lift those up a bit so we can cut around the tag. So I've got some more tags that size that are from Rachel and Bella Craft. So this time I'm going to back it first. <laughs> See if I can come up with another one. Printed onto cardstock actually, and that tea dyed not too badly, I thought. Let's cut around it. got any idea what I'm doing <laughs> I'm trying to think on my feet but it's not a great talent of mine thinking on my feet I love this so I'm gonna try and cut that out I like it but I don't think I like it on the tag could cut these out and have a look. I do have another little snippety thing that I made. But I don't know if it really works on there. Might work on the oops, might work on the longer one better. Let's just try that.
I just don't know if that backing's right for what I'm thinking. I don't think that's well, unless we cut the string the I mean, we could cut these off. I do quite like that, but I feel, I feel like it needs something underneath it. Or... Maybe it needs some I just don't think that's the right tag, but I don't know where the other one is that I've got floating around. I've got more corrugated cardboard. sitting around in my desk I've got that little bit of lace it seems a waste because it's such a beautiful piece of lace to not have it all showing so I'm just going to glue this on the thing is you don't have to we don't have to use them just because we've made them if we decide we don't like them we can just not use them or use them in something else or adapt them when we think of something that we might like better. All our tags can't be super bulky or else we, we're not going to be able to close our... Um, journal <laughs> could be a problem I do like that and you know what I'm going to do I'm going to staple it on with a rusty staple <laughs> I've got rusty staples in my stapler and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't which you can imagine that's the stapler doesn't whoop there we go see that one's already come out halfway out okay let's give it a go see what happens but that certainly is grungy if we do that we might need more than one oh, did it work no of course it didn't because <laughs> we're on video okay might have to stand up yeah I mean I don't think rusty staples are really good for your stapler but they do look cool when you get them in oh that sounded good here we go <laughs> that worked and I'm gonna put another one in just for good measure There we go. So a couple of rusty staples. Let's sit down now. Maybe it's the standing up that did it. Oh, look at the mess on my desk. It's getting quite out there. I had some more of those number stickers, so I might put another one of those on. And where's my other one gone? <laughs> uh, there did I? Oh, no, there it is. Oh, we haven't done a topper on these. Okay, let's do that. Because I have got some blue. But that's not really grungy. It's more bright, isn't it? If I put a blue one in there. Hmm. 
so I can put something grungy through it. Just want to use them because I hardly ever use them. I think I like the light blue one better. So let's find the center. That way. Make sure you get your crocodile, crocodile up the right way. Okay, so that's got a blue thing in it, and then I need something to go at the top of that. I actually almost want the sari silk, maybe that looks like that. Was that too much blue? Yeah, I think almost need something, just some grungy sort of lace or ribbon to go through there so I'll have to look for that and then this one what do I want to do on this one we could grab something and sort of fold have a folded over label or something let's um, tear this it up a little bit with some ink. And I've got some dried pressed, pressed flowers that I want to use as well so I'll have a think about that where I'm going to use those. that on and then we'll be done I just have to find something to tie them with which I'll show you in the next when we get back together And then I'm going to stick. I'm going to stick a whole reinforcer on. Just grind it up a bit. hole in the middle of there and stick the other one on the back I think I want 
kinky those ones aren't they and then i just need something to tie so i'll probably just use a piece of linen or or um yeah just something like this maybe for this one done and I don't know maybe the same for this one I'm not quite sure what I'm going to stick on this one so there we go we've made three tags I hope you like them um, thanks so much for hanging out with me today please um, if you have enjoyed the video I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up or commented or even subscribed if you haven't already and I really do appreciate you watching so I will see you again soon in the next video thanks so much bye